all right guys welcome back to full circle with joyce time now for our change maker interview and we're going to be hearing about the each one reach one initiative uh which is going to raise funds to help girls and boys in kajado county with me here is uh eric mundia who's one of the co-founders and janetta mwangi who's a supporter of this initiative karibu nisana to Thank you. All right. So tell me, when did you, why did you begin this initiative in the first place and when did you do so? Okay. Um, we began this initiative eh, after a viral video from uh, a school in Kajado called uh, Bisil uh, Primary School. Mm -hmm. Was uh, using um, socks instead of uh, sanitary towels. Mm -hmm. And um, when we did a small investigation. We found that uh, Bissell uh, Primary School is a special school whereby we have uh, young girls who are from uh, forced marriages, uh, FGM, and also they have um, a special unit mm -hmm. for the deaf. Right. Yes. Yeah, so a lot of hardship that they were going through. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Certainly. Okay. Um, what are you doing something else before? So it was, li I'm sure you had your own things you were involved in, but this viral video really just moved you that much. Yes, it uh, moved us that much. And um, me and a few friends um, decided to reach out. And um, we decided that uh, so that we are able to uh, give them, some of them don't have uh, shoes. There are those who don't have uh, stationaries. We decided to mobilize, and um, we have actually reached out to some media personalities to help us mobilize the funds. All right. Yes. All right. Um, Janetta, how did you get involved in this? Um, uh, one of the co-founders uh, approached us as a company. Which companies? Uh, are we deal, uh, my company is Marvel 5. Uh, limited mm -hmm. and we deal with sanitary products okay and um, for me girl child is at my heart mm -hmm. in my heart mm -hmm. uh, because uh, the company went out looking for uh, about 16 years ago 17 years ago there was cry and horror about girl, girl, girls using um, crude methods mm -hmm. actually of keeping them in school and it touched my heart. Okay. So the company went out looking for affordable sanitary pads and we were able to to get. Mm -hmm. But at the same time we came and realized that there were issues. Some of them even didn't know how to use. Others, especially actually in Masailand, that one actually touched us a lot because the girls they even never used to, to, to tell their parents whether they are having their menses, mm -hmm. even if they were from low background, they could not be able to get uh, the pads. And even if they got the pad, they didn't know how to use. Right. So we've been working with those less fortunate, or those areas which many people just assume. So when they asked us whether we can support them as they go to Kajiado, we said yes. Okay. We are coming. We are going to give you all the sanitary pads that you need. That's wonderful. Well done to yeah. you for doing that. Mm -hmm. um, and so, um, Eric, tell me how this initiative is, is is going to be working. I understand you're asking people to contribute to it. Um, we are planning to visit uh, that school on first of February. So um, we are lucky. We've gotten a few sponsors, mm -hmm. and uh, we're also lucky that uh, uh, we've been able to mobilize funds. So we are planning to uh, to to buy them uh, shoes, uh, stationery, right, and uh, the pants. But I understand you're requesting people to contribute a hundred shillings or more and nominate others as well? What's that? Yes, you know, each one, reach one, is um, you are able to reach that one person, eh? And uh, you can buy th that person, reach that person, ma make that kid get a, a shoe, eh? Make that kid get stationary. If it's a girl, make sure she has a, 
the sanitary pads for the whole year. Mm -hmm. So for the whole year, uh, they will be covered. Okay. Yeah. Um, Ms. Janetta, uh, you talked about in some of these areas, girls are not even sure about how to use sanitary towels. Um, I don't know how much of your engagement with, with, with um, Eric and his co-founders will involve now that awareness and teaching and education. Yeah, um, I usually encourage even those who are buying to go and give, give the sanitary pad. I always encourage, if you are not going to teach them, please don't give them. Because some of them will open and say, look at it and wonder. How is it going to be used? Mm -hmm. And then they will just keep it uh, aside. So what we do, we, we usually go, whenever we, we, we are going to help, we first of all teach the girls. Uh, of course, some of them even don't know where the, the brand is coming from, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have to teach them on reproduction uh, health mm -hmm. so that they may be able to understand the about the ovaries where the rad is coming uh, th those those uh, those uh, issues we we teach them and even show them how to use the pad yeah yeah so they, they are not confused right. because some of them actually don't really know right. and the other thing is like the the like now in masaida they think it's a taboo and others, like their fathers, they think now you are ready for marriage. Mm -hmm. So the mother actually will not even want to know whether the daughter is, is, on, her is, is on her menses. She will not even discuss it. As a way to protect the child. As a way to protect the Kagao child from right. the father. Right. So they have issues. So we have learned that they have issues and we are tackling that when we are given the chance. And sure. wherever we are going out and wherever we find people coming to buy from our prod from us uh, to to go and give I uh, usually uh, we usually ask whoever is doing that to make sure they have taught the girls how to use the pad and even how to dispose it as well mm -hmm. and uh, also make sure to s in some of those places they just don't go with pads they have to go with panties as mm -hmm, well mm -hmm, mm -hmm. there are issues out there yeah real issues right yeah it sounds like though this education needs to spread also to the families too particularly so there's i think there's the element of teaching the girls how to use the pads but there's also talking to the fathers right we're talking to communities um because it's, it's unfortunate that a mother cannot be there for her daughter because she doesn't want to know as a way to protect because of the fathers and the uncles. Yeah, but it's, it, it, it differs in, in many localities. In, in Masairan, that's the issue. Mm -hmm. In other areas, <laughs> I've had um, even uh, the mothers actually with them, they, 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 they encourage the girls to use um, the, the, the lessons pieces of lessons mm -hmm. or clothes because they think uh, after all this part you on you throw it to the uh, you are just going to to to, to throw, throw it, it to the toilet so, so why can't I buy bread mm -hmm. use that one mm -hmm. so in each and every area in Kenya has that because we have traveled there are issues okay in every area all yeah. right Eric um, so once you have your event then on the 1st of February you said you are going to this a Bissell school yes. to uh, deliver the sanitary towels so caringly provided. Um, what other parts of the country, because someone here is asking, you know, again, your inspiration for this you mentioned was that viral video. Yes. Um, and what kind of places would inspire you the most? So after visiting this Bissell school, where do you see this initiative going in the future? In the near future, we are planning to visit each and every county. We look for, we look and identify uh, a school in each and every county. Okay. Because yes, there are in every county. I'm sure there is a special school. All right. <laughs> yes. Okay. Is that going to be your focus? You want to focus on um, schools dealing with children with special needs? Yes. Okay. We want to focus on schools. 
All right. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you so much for coming on to the show. I've been talking to Eric Mundia, who's the co-founder of Each One Reach One Initiative, and Ms. Janetta Mwangi, who's a supporter of this initiative as well. Thank you both so much for coming on to the show. And we wish you the very best on the 1st of February. And may you have even more impact around this country. Asante ni sana. Okay. Thank you. All right, guys. We need to take a short break now as we get ready for our final segment for the day. We're going to be talking about vegan. Veganism. This is not even being a vegetarian. This is being a vegan, which means you don't even eat any animal products. My guest in, uh, is coming on. She is actually a vegan herself, and she's going to be sharing her journey with us. Stay tuned. <laughs> 